wanted to do a quick video because we've been getting a lot of questions about um, the chicken wire ball method for bouquet making. Um, I did a, a live a few days ago that went over this method as one of my favorite methods for achieving a really light and airy, more modern look um, with a lot of stability and it doesn't kill your hand. Um, so just to go over how I form the ball and kind of some mechanics to think about as you're approaching your design. Um, so I usually take a piece of chicken wire. This is about six inches by eight inches total. So it's not very big. Um, I usually like to make my, like the holes in the ball a little bit smaller overall. Um, and then if I am using any stems that are like larger stems, like Dahlia, um, or even these Fertilaria, I usually wait until the outside to put those on so they're not actually going through the holes. Um, so I'll just tape those on after. So I start with this, um, it's a rectangle, rectangular shape, and I'm gonna take the opposite edges and fold them over each other. So then it looks like that. So it's kind of like a roll right now. Um, and then I'll just put some of the edges over just so it stays. Um, and then I'll take the opposite two edges and do that same thing, kind of creating a base and make sure to pinch the little edges around each other so it doesn't um, fall. And at this point you won't have like a perfectly round shape. So I'll just kind of push in the edges that are a little bit less round um, until it resembles more of a round shape. Um, and usually there will be the top portion up here that has wider holes and a little bit more space and that will be my top um, so that's where the stems are going to rest and then this will be my bottom that has the thicker um, part and like less large holes um, and so I'll start it like this I'll usually stick in if you saw my live I'll start sticking in flowers around the edges um, and they're not very big. I don't like to put all of my flowers inside the, the chicken ball. Um, just because I feel like if I'm gonna make it a really big dynamic bouquet, um, I don't want them to all be stuck inside of here. I feel like that limits how big it is and like the shape overall sometimes. So I'll create like more or less the middle or maybe one side of it in this and then I'll tape it and then I'll continue to add on to the shape, um, depending on how big I'm doing it um, and what the overall um, design is. And then just making sure that all of your stems are long enough that they come together at um, a smaller point that you can wrap your tape around and your ribbon around. Um, so hopefully this is helpful. Feel free to ask any questions below or reach out to us over email. We'll continue to do more bouquet demos and centerpiece demos and things like that in the coming weeks.